Uh, one of the things I did right from the beginning is I wasn't afraid to share the fact that I had Fabry disease with people. So my family knew, my friends knew, and I explained what it was all about. And then I didn't have anything to hide. I also attended patient meetings where I got to meet patients from across Canada in 2006 and see that there's all sorts of different people that are affected by this disease and all sorts of different ways of coping with the disease. So I reached out to other people that have the disease. When a person is diagnosed with a rare disease, whether it's Fabry disease or one of the other 6,000, initially there's a lot of fear and anxiety and you have to come to grips with the fact that you have this diagnosis. Now I've developed a number of coping strategies that I've used to help me deal with Fabry disease. For me, getting involved with organizations like the Canadian Fabry Association, it's also involved uh, being very open with family and friends and then trying to do as much as I can as an individual to manage my disease, either through nutrition or through exercise. Now, I recognize that many people are affected differently. Some people are affected less than I am, some people are affected more so than I am. But I believe each of us needs to develop coping strategies to deal with our diagnosis.